Fire sign, welcome to Ascending Spiritually. My name is Dee. If this is your first time tuning in, I appreciate it. Um, this is for February 8th. Usually I'll do the whole week's read, but since I took so long, I feel like I would narrow it down just to the current en energies. So this is for February 8th. Keep in mind this is a general reading. If you want something more tailored to your specific situation, go ahead and click the link in the description box below. That will take you to my website where you can book a personal reading. So, Leo. Yeah, so, Leos. What have you guys been up to? I hope February has been treating you guys well so far. Um, let's see. First card. The Knight of Pentacles. Um, you could be in this energy right now. This is kind of like a selfish energy where you're like, I'm going to take care of me first before I even worry about anybody else. Um, this is more self-focused than anything, but this is also a slow and steady energy where even though you're, you're making small progress, you are essentially going to get to your goal. It just might take longer than you expected, and it will require patience from you. The Six of Swords. So you're definitely going with the flow at this time. Whether this is at work, in relationships, or any aspect in your life, you are deciding to stop fighting against the current and kind of just go with things. Um, you could be moving towards calmer waters if things have been turbulent in your life. Um, that's about to change very soon. Death. Um, there could have been an ending of some sort. If not, you're dealing with a Scorpio or you have your Scorp in your chart somewhere. And this situation is calling for some type of transformation. If there was an ending, um, it was a very painful one that affected your stability in some way, shape, or form. Um, this is just calling for you to transform yourself, whether this is in your life, um, with characteristics that you have. Something in your life is calling for change. And it could also be that you're slowly making forward movement towards, you know, this change. Then we have the Ace of Swords. You could be seeking some type of clarity or truth. This is all mental energy. Maybe you were in a confusing place. Maybe things aren't as clear as you would like them to be. If you're not clear-headed, it's really difficult to make decisions at the end of the day because you're not looking at it from a leveled perspective. So if you're seeking clarity, just know that give it time and patience and the universe will bring in that clarity or truth that you're seeking in order to move forward. Because I feel like, you can't have this until you make some type of change of some sort. The king of rods. So this is you in that Leo Aries Sagittarius energy. If you're not dealing with someone else um, who's really passionate, this is like that entrepreneur energy. This is the person that takes action. Like they don't sit around and procrastinate. So if you're not dealing with someone else that's like that, then um, this is you slow to make forward movement or slow to actually take action towards something. We'll get more information on that later on. And the three of swords. So whatever it is in your life right now, you could be feeling some type of pain in your heart space. Um, maybe this pain has something to do with this ending here. If it's not an ending, it's a transformation. But you're at a healing stage when it comes to your heart. Um, maybe you, may, you might be feeling betrayed in some sort of way. Maybe things didn't go the way that you planned. And it's forcing you to move towards somewhere calmer, whatever this thing is. And it's not making... Like you moving on, it's not making you feel better. It's making you feel hurt and sad for whatever reason. Um, just depends in your situation. If not, then you're just feeling heartbroken over something that didn't go the way that you expected. The Knight of Cups. Okay. Let me get one more card.
Two of Cups. So you might have offered your love to someone. Um, this is someone that you feel really deeply about or someone you might be dealing with someone that's kind of younger um, than you, someone that's in their 20s. Um, the Knight of Cups is the energy of this person is going to offer you love, but they also have like false promises. This is like that disappointment because of things that weren't to your expectations or things that just didn't make you feel satisfied. And whatever, maybe there's an ending with this person here because you are faced. I took this as you because it was the first card, right? And I feel like this person has something to do with this heartache that you're feeling um, is the vibe I get. Because you're looking towards a relationship, some type of partnership that you have with someone, and you feel like you want to offer their love to this person. This is someone where the relationship could have grown, like grown from a friendship stage, and it's just someone that you feel you have that partnership with. But for some reason, you might have to move away from them, or you might want to offer your love to them but you're not completely healed. It really just depends on your situation. I can read this so many ways. Either you wanna take action towards healing yourself so that you can offer your love to someone that you've, you feel you can have that partnership with, or um, there's someone else involved in the situation which is causing you know that heartbreak because there's three people in this. The heartbreak is right in between you know these two options that you have. One of them is not even focused on you, and the other one is focused on having a relationship, a real partnership with you. It just depends. Um, comment below if you want to differentiate which one you are. Let's just get more of an understanding in this. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Um, slowly moving towards something that will lead you to using your creativity, something that will bring you inspiration of some sort. Uh, maybe you have your eye on a new project, a new person. It could be anything, really. But you're slowly moving towards this, whatever it may be. Why is the Six of Swords here? Because of the Eight of Pentacles. Um, you're putting in a lot of time and energy and effort into work right now, focused on your finances and having that stability that you need financially to feel secure. And the wheel is also turning. So this is that destiny karma card. So if you've been if you've been good and spreading positivity and not trying to, you know, bring deception into anyone's life, then you can expect that kind of good karma back. But if not, just know that that's your karma. And don't be surprised if, you know, you get the same thing back. Too many cards came out, so let me see. Shuffle again. Why is death here? Okay. That's a lot of cards. Why is death here? Death. Because of the Four of Pentacles. Um, there could have been an ending of some sort, but you're still holding on tightly to whoever this person is or whatever it is that ended, you're holding on tightly to it. I could also see this as the end of you being selfish, greedy, just a transformation within yourself that gets you out of this like greedy, um, self-serving energy. It really de just depends on your situation. Um, why is this Ace of Swords here, this mental truth and clarity that you're seeking? Because of the Ace of Cups in reverse. That's how it fell out. Um, because of this ending, there might be love getting poured out. Like instead of putting love into a cup, it's essentially getting poured out because of some type of ending. And let me get 
more information of that. You could be dealing with a Libra. If not, you're just dealing with someone who is no nonsense and no bullshit because they've been through a lot in their life and they've kind of had this discerning standpoint when it comes to people. This is the type of person that if they see that you're onto deception and nonsense, like they'll just cut you out. They won't even give you any explanation. You'll be sitting there confused, like, what did I do? When in reality, this person already knew what you were up to before you even like opened your mouth to them. And you're maybe gaining some clarity about the fact that this person is maybe pouring out their love for you um, for whatever reason. Things, I guess, just didn't work out and they feel like this relationship is not viable. It just depends. Or if you were dealing with someone, you feel like it's not going anywhere. And so it resulted in just things being spilled, like feelings just being spilled, a cup being poured out. Why is the king of rods here? Because of the moon. Um, you might be trying to take control of your emotions. Because you're sad right now. You're in this sad, heavy energy because something didn't work out the way that you expected. And so it's making you feel some type of way. This could be the also crying over spilled milk. So you're hiding your emotions about how sad you really feel about the situation. That's why it's making your heart feel pain and sorrow. Um, yeah, because now you have to choose a new direction. Maybe the direction you were going towards didn't get you the results that you expected. So now you have to contemplate where it is that you want to go next. Um, you have to make the decision about whether you're going to try to either revive the situation or replenish it, or if you're going to just choose to move on. It really just depends on you. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Because of the Ace of Pentacles. Um, since it is in the middle of this Two of Cups, maybe you want to try to have a new start with someone specifically. Maybe you feel like if it was a relationship that fell apart and that had an ending, you feel like you could start over, essentially. But it would require you know both parties to actually give that equal give and take because that was something that was lacking in the past. So there is an opportunity for things to be salvaged, which was the vibe that I got when I saw this Five of Cups. Because of these five cups, two of them are tipped over, which lets me know that there's still a, there's still a chance to salvage things. But it's really going to be up to the both of you. It can't just be one person, you know, putting in all the work, trying to make this work. Um, it has to be something that's shared between the both of you. And there's a lot of confusion surrounding this. Like, if you're dealing with someone else, I don't feel like everything is clear between the both of you. Um, there could be a lot of holding back, a lot of withholding emotions, which leads to confusion because things aren't clear. They're not really talked about. They're not really established. And so while one person may think, oh, this is how things really are, it's a different way from the other person's perspective, which is something that can be fixed through communication. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's best for things to be clear than not clear from my point of view. And why is this Two of Cups here? Because of the Queen of Pentacles. Um, you're, huh, hold on, one sec. Strength. So you could be dealing, this has, overall energy for this is stability. This has everything to do with your home life and your stability. Um, and from what I see here, there could be someone, if you're not dealing with someone who has that grounding energy, um, that you feel really takes care of the home, like they know how to get business taken care of. I also feel that like there could be someone that's getting in the way of this relationship. And I feel like this could be a mother figure or someone that is prominent in your life. They tend to, because this person's angry, their facial expressions is angry, and they're angry about a relationship of some sort. And I feel like you either need to muster up the strength to stand up to this person who is creating conflict when it comes to this relationship, or um, you need to have the strength to ground the situation. It really just depends with you. 
So Leos, that's the end of your reading. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next week.